2022 has been a blissful year for me. Um, it has been my year of breakthrough, if I can say that. Um, 2022, my highlight of the year was me getting married. It's something that I had trusted God for last year, and God blessed me with that blessing. So when we were dating, we'd shelve our issues. They'd be like, you go to your corner, I go to my corner, and we'd not come back and talk about it. And it would get to a point and then it just blows up. But now we talk through our issues. We are kind to one another as we are talking through these issues. So growth in how we solve our issues, conflict resolution has been, yeah. I'm currently a student, so to give me to, to like give us a perspective of the attributes, it's nice to know which season I'm in, and I'm in a season of learning. And I'm about to finish my thesis in the next month, so it's, it's a it's a nice season to be in. And there's a prayer that uh, my mom and dad taught me how to say every day. The prayer is the prayer of Jabez, which says. O oh Lord, that you shall bless me and bless me indeed, that you shall enlarge my territory and that shall keep your hand over me, that I shall feel no pain. And to be honest, I've seen this aspect in every bit of my life, from God being with me, even when things are tough and when things are not tough, for him enlarging my territory. Uh, you know, sometimes people take territory as land, but territory can also be intellectually like how your mind is growing, how your space is enlarging, the kind of social connections you're building. So I feel like that's an aspect of God that I cherish the most, that he is God in good and in bad times, that whatever happens, that at least you know he will be there, moving in the shadows and executing the thing. In the season that we walked, through um, planning for our wedding. We trusted God for funds and whew, God came through. He really provided in ways that I to date can't explain. I just can't explain how, uh, how we got finances to finance our wedding, but we did. And to date, he still provides in our lives that which he said he's going to do over your life. He surely will see it to fulfillment that it comes to pass. I feel like um, we're called as Christians to always be prayerful and talking to God every day. The same way you talk to your parents in the morning, the same way you talk to your, your wife, your friends, girlfriend, and everything going around. But that's an aspect I feel that I need to grow in. I think I've, I've been growing, I haven't fully grown, but just praying and fasting and talking to God and asking him for the vision to see what he has in store for me. Because uh, in his word, it says that, you know, you might pray for many things, but if it does not align with God's will, it won't come true, then you'll remain in a, rub, in a rubble kind of state asking yourself why God did not fulfill this. So I've been trying to grow in my in my area of prayer and fasting, and especially to understand his word, because I'll be very honest, his word is very difficult. Like, the, the, the more you read about it, the more confusing it gets. And I'm currently in that state of confusion. So like, prayer is helping me overcome this aspect. Faith, I have grown in my faith. The beginning of the year, I was, I was bitter about something that God had taken away from me a couple of years back. And I came to realize that is because I had not let go of the situation for God to take care of that situation. But where I am in right now, I'm in a place where I have so much faith in God that in whatever situation or whatever season I walk through in life that he's going to take me through. He's going to sustain me in that situation. My faith in God has grown tremendously this year. I struggled with faith and believing. 
because uh, you know like uh, there's this point when everything goes well now you start uh, telling yourself that uh, maybe I'm the one who did it you understand so the, str- the struggle between faith and knowing that it's God who's doing things that behind like, that you cannot see that's an area I feel like I'm slowly growing every day I, I can't say I've fully grown because growth takes time but I'm in the process of doing that so growing my faith to the point where I can move a mountain literally is what I want to get at one thing and I speak this with so much uh, with so much passion is that let go and just let it to God he is going to take care of any situation that you're in and he sustains us he ensures that we have the wisdom to walk through certain situations in life that we find ourselves he brings the right people our way to see us through those tough situation trust in god and he's going to get you to where he needs you to be through the year um i'd be led to like talk about uh the story of the disabled man and the four friends who dropped him from the roof so like ideally i feel like collective is a space to get these friends i know many of us struggle to get like people who'd anchor you and take you back up when you go down so ideally i feel like in this space that we are in god would actually like work within us and among us to give us those friends we're looking for in life uh in, in church like we have uh some of the pastor's friends who come over and every time i see them i tell myself at least when i get to like let's say my 30s i want friends like that friends who are with you because of their love for christ and it's hard being the one who loves christ if you're the only one who loves christ among your friends so it's like collective gives you that space to not be the only one who loves christ in your space so like you have people you're working with and you remember you're not working alone so maybe like that's just that avenue for friendship beyond the church also collective has been uh, really instrumental in guiding us to read the bible i think joshua 1:8 says that the only way to prosper is to reading the bible nothing else like it's, it's clear and blank so just reading the bible and contemplating according to his word uh, my verse for the year has been numbers 23:19 and uh, the verse says um, god is not human that he should that he should lie not a human being that he should change his mind does he speak and then not act does he promise and not fulfill um this verse is an encouragement it just encourages me that um whatever god has said he's going to fulfill in your life however long it takes it surely will eventually come to pass might not be today as we want it to be might not be tomorrow as we want it to be as humans but however long it takes however short it takes god will see it through that his promises to us are fulfilled and come to pass and that's an encouragement to anyone who's waiting on god that god is not a man that he will lie or change his mind he's going to fulfill his desires in our lives matthew chapter 17 verse 20 says because you have so little faith truly i tell you if you have faith as small as a mustard seed you can say to this mountain move from here to there and it will move nothing will be impossible for you uh my takeaway from that was usually is if your faith is just like a small mustard seed that is usually really small you can move a mountain now what if your faith is like a table then what if your faith is like the mountain itself what could you move and if it says nothing will be impossible for you there's a phrase that went on for through the year that was saying impossible is nothing when kipchoge was running and 
So you can imagine now this, this type of faith that if it's stronger, what could you do with it? Maybe that's just like a food for thought. Mm -hmm.